Hi, my name is Brian English, forum name Hyperbytes, and in this module we're going to look at how to delete a user. So it's a fairly straightforward, we're going to uh, see work with this delete button here. In the same way that we did with the edit, the first thing we need to do when we click on that button is we need to call that API action to load in the correct record. So let's go into our dynamic events, our mouse click. And what we're going to do now is we're going to call that single users action. And then they're going to pass the parameter from the repeat section of your table. And what we're going to do is we're going to pass that user ID. So what that does, of course, is that sends the server action off and it will return the details of the user corresponding to the column on which you have clicked that button. From there on, we need to then do a delete action. So I'm just going to go back into that. In fact, I'm not actually. I'm going to convert this to a flow. So at the moment, we've just clicked an action. We're going to convert this to a flow. It's going to ask you to do that. We say yes. Now we see we're still going to run action, but within a flow you uh, execute that from a, a run. And now what we're going to do is we want to ask the user, do they really want to do this? Because we don't want to just delete without any prompt. Otherwise, it'd be very easy to delete the user by accident. So we're going to add an action. We're going to go into our boot box dialogues. And we're going to go for a confirm dialogue. Just call this confirm. That's just a name so we recognize it. The message would be, um, do you want to delete this user? Title will just be delete. Our confirm label will be simply the word delete. You can make these messages as sophisticated as you want. I'm conscious that if you're watching me do this and I get really bored and watching my bad typing all the time. We'll have a cancel there. Don't forget, you can change the defaults of these uh, buttons if you wish. Um, you can change the styling of the size of that dialogue as well. And also the, boot, the, ba the backdrop. You can have it animated, you have close buttons, we can swap the button orders in them and we can center them vertically as well. I'm going to leave everything, oh and scrollable of course. I'm going to leave everything as uh, default at the moment. We're going to have to have an action now that it will execute if that user clicks the delete. So we're going to add an action. We're going to go to our data source, server connect. And remember I said that we'll be using a get parameter for delete rather than a traditional post. The reason is that when we call that delete action from the uh, flow, we're doing that. We'll be sending that parameter via a get. So we're going to look in our um, admin users and we're going to look at our delete action. And it will then ask us for the user ID. Now, if you remember, when we click that delete button, it runs that um, con single users server connect action. That returns a single record of the current the user on that particular column, and that will be returned as the user ID in that. So we can go into server connect single user data query and we can select the user ID from there. So we know that we're deleting the correct record. There's a bug in um, doing this in server actions, if I remember rightly. No, there's not. Please completely ignore that. I'm thinking of something totally different. Um, that will then run that record. Sorry, that delete action. And then what we need to do then is just inform the user that we have done that deletion. So we just add an action. I'm going to go into... Uh, our flow control run and I'm just going to do the usual notification success user user deleted sorry I'll get that caps lock off in a minute I 
okay but there's actually one other thing that we need to do have you thought about it yeah we need to refresh this list as well so let's do that let's add an action and let's again it's a run action I'm going to put these in separate run actions but we could have just stacked them up inside this one we could add a second entry to that and in that one we need to have our main con users server action refreshed so that that directory that we have just deleted is removed from the list so that's our action at the most basic but of course we've got to think well okay we're deleting a user here but what about the roles that that user has so we're actually going to do have a modification of our delete users action so if we go into our admin into our users remember we have our delete action and within that action we have the user id passed as a get variable from that flow we're deleting the user but we also need to select delete any roles that were associated with that user that's really easy we just add an action we're going to add another database delete we're going to delete from roles this time and in this case we're going to delete every role which where the user id of that is equivalent to that get parameter in other words we're removing all of those roles that are related to the user now if we've been using a um, subtable here then generally within subtables we'll have what's called a cascade delete set up so when you delete that user it would automatically delete those roles as well because they are in the sub table of the main table however if you remember in this case we couldn't use a sub table because of the way that the security provider works we had to use a join instead and that way we need do need to manually remove those roles as well but say really easy modification there we'll be able to save that now and uh, I'm just having a, a, a quick think in my head have we missed anything out I don't think so so let's open that in the browser just by a incredible bit of luck somebody else has just registered on the system so to uh, allow us so we're going to click that there's nothing happening there why is that let's go back into our action let's have a look at our flow and what's happened is actually if you look that flow has not saved I do f have found this has happened uh, quite regularly if uh, George or any of the team are watching this video um, this is starting to become a bit of a problem um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an action I want to add that boots dialogue again <coughs> I'm going to give that uh, name it's delete messages uh, delete this user title we'll just call delete confirm will be delete Quick tidy up there uh, our cancel label will just say cancel I don't know do I explain the rest of the actions to you and then what am I going to do is I'm going to add a comment in and the reason is I found if you add a comment uh, this seems to almost like ensure that that flow is saved properly so we click that now we can see our flow is saving correctly we're going to add an action data source data server connect server action admin users delete user ID is our user ID from our single user query we need to now um, run our notification tell them that it's been successful user deleted and then I'm just going to add that refresh straight after that rather than a separate action 
click around a bit just to make sure it knows that there's been changes. Um, let's just double check that action now has saved properly. Yes, it has. So let's try that again. Let's make sure we're going to click that to record. Delete this loser, delete, and there we are. You'll see that that has been del deleted correctly. So that's our delete action, pretty straightforward. Our next one will be a little more complex because we'll be looking at adding, removing roles. Um, but I'm sure, as you're probably now starting to understand how Wapner works and how these server actions work, it's not really that complicated. So I hope to see you in the next module, and we'll be looking at managing the user's roles. Thanks for joining me.